Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fit Curls. My name is Angela. I am a fitness professional and a curly hair enthusiast and I use this channel to teach you how to keep your curls in shape. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss a single thing. Now today is another experiment on the Fit Curls. I am trying a brand new styling technique or rather I guess drying technique to see what its impact on my curl type will wind up being. And that technique is net plopping. Penny Tovar has been doing this for at least two years now. Hi Felicia brought it back into the forefront. And today I'm going to try it on my 2C3A fine high porosity curls just to see what happens and see if maybe I found a brand new, better way to dry my curls. So if you're excited to see how this experiment turns out, hit it with a thumbs up and without further ado, let's get styling. I hope you like my old lady robe. I got it at a big box store when I was like 15. And I love it so much, it's so cozy. So I went ahead and prepped my hair for styling with just one tiny pump of Evolve Wonder Balm, a newer product to me and one that I have been experimenting a little bit with. It's fantastic for detangling, it adds tons of moisture and shine, and I'm really excited to see how this pairs with the other products that I am using today. Speaking of pairing it with products, let's get styling already. I'm sectioning off the bottom part of my hair, which is where I'm going to start my styling with the Curlsmith Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. Just a couple of pumps, nice thin texture, but gives me the boost of protein that I really need. And I'm just gonna rake that all the way through every part of that section of hair. Pairing it with the Orange Marmalade from Eco Slay, which is one of my favorite, most interesting products that I've ever used, means that I get that extra boost of protein as well as all of the hold benefits from the Orange Marmalade. And the Marmalade provides a ton of moisture as well. So it's a really, really great kind of all-in-one product for me to use for this experiment. And of course, I'm using the diamond brush. Duh, what else would I be using right now? Now, all of you have seen, I'm assuming, my diamond brush tutorials because I've done, um, I think, at least three of them. So I'm gonna link a few of them in the description box below as well as one of them that has served many people, myself included, very, very well up here at the top. So you guys can watch a more detailed version of that because that's not really the point of this video. Now, you'll also see that I'm throwing in a few random finger coils just to uh, fix any wayward curls. So if you want to see a tutorial on that, I will link that below and up top as well. Now that all the products are in and my curls are defined as well as held, I'm going to go ahead and microplop out any excess moisture using my Conair Twist and Wrap t-shirt towel as per usual. This not only pulls out the extra water to shorten my drying time, but it also helps to set and enhance my clumps in their natural clumpity shape. This segment of the video brought to you by the word clumpity. Sure to be Merriam-Webster's word of the year of 2021. Now that all of my styling products are in, it is time to dry my hair. And uh, I've seen the net plopping done a number of different ways. So I'm going to try it after I get a cast on my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hair dryer and diffuser to hover diffuse around my head upside down, flip styling from side to side, just until I start to feel that cast form. Then I'll be back to net plop. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Just like micro plopping helps to enhance and set those clumps, so does diffusing, especially a hover diffuse method like I'm showing here. I'm aiming specifically for my roots from multiple angles here because the roots do take the longest to dry. By targeting them first, I'm also ensuring that I get more volume and definition at the top of my head and in my roots in general, because my fine hair needs all the help I can get. Ta-da! We have a cast! It looks so stylish, no? Alright, let's get to the net plopping part of this experiment. So I don't actually have a pair of fishnet stockings or a hairnet like Penny or Felicia use respectively, but what I am going to be using is a substitute that Wavy Curly Alley used, which is a net shopping bag. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair into this as gracefully as possible. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> I 
<laughs> um, I don't feel like this is exactly how this is supposed to go. Hang on. Okay, we're back. Um, I had to pull it tighter because, well, my hair is just not that long. So I've got this lovely dangly net bit here at the back. Um, clearly I am starting a trend. So I'm going to continue to hover diffuse and see if net plopping is the new magic way to enhance the spring and shrinkage of my curls. <sighs> One eternity later. So I'm gonna take this down out of the net and see what the heck we're dealing with here. <gasps> um. <laughs> la, 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 la. I don't love this. So I can feel that my roots and the mids are still very damp. My curls got super wonky. This, yikes. Um. Yeah, I think I can safely say that net plopping is not for me. If you've had a different experience, drop it in the comments below. Maybe tell me something that I missed or something that I should have done better. For now though, I think I'm gonna stick to my regular diffusing method. It's just, it gives me more consistent results. If you haven't seen that, check that out right here. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go fix my head. Um, <laughs> BRB. 20 minutes later. Crisis averted. So, um, what did we learn from this? Well, if plopping doesn't work well for your hair and tends to cause quite a bit of wonk, then so will net plopping. I don't really recommend a full plop of any kind for people with super fine or very malleable loose curls. And that is because an uncontrolled method of scrunching, which is to me exactly what plopping is, can cause a lot of wonkiness to the shape of the curls early on in your styling process. And as the curls get more and more dry, they become less and less malleable, so they get stuck in that wonky shape. If you really want to preserve the shape of your curls, go for pixie diffusing instead, or even lightly cup the curls with your hands or with a microfiber towel as you are drying to encourage that same level of bounce and shrinkage. Now, if you have coarser hair and your hair responds really well to a plop, go for it. Try the net plopping. The hardest part is getting your hair into the net. Beyond that, it's just the same as any regular plop. Now, the ultimate gripe that I do actually have with this method is that for me, there was no way of getting the mids of my hair dry. So when I pulled my hair out of it, the ends had dried almost straight and spiky because of how they got crushed inside the net and the mids were still really damp. So this just, it's not the right method for me. I'm not mad that I tried. I'm a little mad that I wound up having to go back and fix it as much as I did, but that's what experimenting is for. Not every experiment is going to be a success. So if something doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean that you did something wrong or that your hair is messed up somehow. It just means that maybe it's not the right set of products or the right method for you. That's why we do these things. We do them to learn. So that is it for today's video. What did you guys think? Go ahead and drop your comments down below with any of your thoughts, opinions, and impressions on this video, as well as whether you have tried net plopping and how it worked for your hair. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more styling experiments like it, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. That way it boosts the video's performance and it lets me know what kind of content you guys wanna see on this channel. For more content from me, go ahead and head over to my Instagram. I post wash day and wash week updates there all the time, my favorite combinations new experiments that I've tried, and just general updates, as well as some fun stories and the occasional puppy. If you haven't joined the Fit Curls family officially already, well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, watch a few more videos while you're here. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and continuing to support the Fit Curls. Love your curls, love each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye!